Well, hello the internet and welcome to the final episode of Building the Pride Garden in Minecraft. Because it, it is the last day of June, I think. And um, also we can't do stitching adventures this week because I don't have enough video footage for that. Because I haven't really filmed the process of making my skirt because it was a bunch of really long straight seams. The skirt's also on a mannequin because it hasn't been hemmed. And I also need to put the hooks and eyes into the back of it. Which is really helpful and to like put it on I have to put my corset on and I can't actually be asked to do that right now. Um, so today we are doing a section of the garden inspired by the non-binary pride flag because that is entirely appropriate for me to do. I also decided let's build a little gazebo thing and somehow I ended up managing to record 40 minutes of footage. That's not normal for me. 20 minutes at a push most days because I don't have the attention span to do lots of really long complicated confusing builds which is why the garden's kind of perfect because it's you know lots of just throw some flowers down and hope it looks good which it does in this case so we can be happy with that I need to move my microphone away from my face so I don't keep hitting it oopsies um so for this build we used lilacs alliums uh, white tulips, I'm trying to see, there's the lily of the valleys, I think that's dandelions, and sunflowers, because I wanted to make sure there was height in this build. This is also, I think, the only garden where I've saved the hedge until, like, the very last bit, which I'm kind of glad I did, because it meant that I actually just built stuff without worrying about it feeling restricted. Um, Honestly, I wish I'd done the gardens a bit differently and kind of just built without sectioning it all out. But, oh well, it's a bit late to go back and change all of that now. It's the end of June. It's the end of June. It's been six months of the year already. Wow. We're halfway through the year. How is that possible? I don't get that. I don't get how that's happened. But it has. Um, For the hedge, we're using oak. Yeah, that's oak. And we're using jungle because I don't think I've used that so far. Um, and I'm trying to make sure each garden has a different enough look to it that it's, like, distinct. And, like, it's meant to be fairly subtle what pride flags they are because, obviously, it's literally just a bunch of flowers. I wish we had, like, some richer purple, like, flowers because that would have made this look so much better because they're all really pale. And like nothing against alliums and lilacs. I love the flowers. They just didn't really work in the colour palette. So I threw in some amethyst crystals as well just to try and add something else that was purple because I didn't feel like the purple was really standing out that much. I also put in a spore blossom because if you know me from other videos, you know that I really, really quite like it when there's little particles floating in the air because it just makes it a bit more magical. Which is why I really like cherry blossom trees. If you couldn't tell, I mildly overused them on this build because I literally started it days after the update came out. If I've done the maths correctly in my head, I... Honestly, this month's just disappeared because I've not been in school for, like, two weeks now. Um, actually, that's a lie. I had to go in last week for a concert thing. And I'm in next weekend. <laughs> but, like, honestly, the weird thing about study leave is time just exists. Me and my friends, half the time, we don't know what day it is. Oh, and now we're on to the unplanned section of today's build in which we're putting down... A stone pathway to connect it up and we're gonna place loads and loads of flowers and trees because that's honestly what looks best and fills in the little awkward spaces and obviously we want to make sure that there's not loads of empty spaces because then it kind of just looks a bit silly um trying to get this hedge to line the path to look right was a bit of a faff i also added a little pond thing in even though there's like no fish or anything in there i would absolutely put an axolotl in i'd just be concerned it would jump out and die and we don't want that um we will be going back and starting to build some houses again very soon no doubt because honestly that's probably what we're going to end up doing for the next couple of weeks since that's relatively quick and Easy for me to manage while I'm meant to be spending most of my days sewing. And also soon I need to start fabric to make flowers. I forgot about that. I also need to place an order. Oh, I need to order some beads. 
Um, I love the bead shop in Nottingham. They have so many goddamn beads. We'll talk about that a bit because it's textiles related. They have so many beads. Like, oh, it's so helpful. They don't have my favourite seed bead mix in though, so I can't order any more of that in. But all the beads I used on, well, almost all the beads I used on my final piece of textiles that I sadly can't show you yet, um, they all came from there. I also go to Golden Hind, I think it is, for gold work supplies, if you were ever wondering where I get that stuff from. Goodbye, the internet. Sorry I was a bit of a different video today. 